Hello everybody and welcome to a video, a thing. It's going to be a couple minutes long. Um, the Farming Simulator 19 video, it kind of got leaked. So it's a day early. So let's talk about it. Let's see what we see. This is, uh, this is it. It's for the Xbox. We've got it running in 4K. So hopefully this video will be in 4K for you guys. I can get it out pretty quick. So let's see what all we get. Hopefully, uh, hopefully some good stuff. Okay, we know horses are rideable, and this is the German map. Very, very pretty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Can't go frame by frame. Okay. This is not what we've seen yet. Okay, so it's definitely an American map. We've got an American flag right there. And the big silos. It looks like... It looks like California. So, it is very, very, very pretty. Um, basketball court over there. Cars parked on the road. The, the grass and everything looks amazing. Train. Kind of Euro style. I don't know what tra trains in Germany look like. We know we've got a map in Germany. A map in the America. The America. The only Marca. And we've got the, uh, the Platinum Edition one uh, in Paraguay. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool looking. New farmer there. We can finally see a little bit of the customization of it. Okay, let's uh, look back here. So we got train car. Looks like a wheat car. What was back here? Is that an empty car? Back here? Because if we can transport vehicles across the map with a train, that's going to be awesome. Um, it could be a log cart, but I don't see the uprights. Yeah, there are no uprights on that trailer. They would have uh, passed in front of that. So hopefully we can see some kind of, uh, some kind of vehicle transportation with the trains. Especially if they get the map set up correctly. And this is something I talk about like on Lone Oak Farm. You know, they divide up the map to make it feel larger because you've bisected how you're going to uh, go from one point to the other. You know, which was what makes Goldcrest feel small is you can go from one end of the map to the other just driving straight across. But you can't do it in a lot of maps. Whoa, let's go back one second. Okay, looks like we've got a barge. And... Possibly a cell point down here. Um, that would be pretty cool, loading up onto a barge and everything. That would be pretty freaking sweet. K620 quad track. We got the Elmer's Hallmaster and a John Deere combine. Wow, it's pretty. It's very, very pretty. I think that they, like, uh, somebody told me that they didn't update any of the textures for the, the crops, but. Look at it. <laughs> I mean, if that's lighting effects making that look good, then yes, please, give us some more. My only issue with the Elmer's trail is I really like the Brents. Um, hopefully they don't get replaced. Hopefully we have you know the option of both because I, I really did like the Brents. I mean, they're kind of the same, but uh, they held a special place in my heart. Okay, what kind of... Harvester is this? We got a car up there, two thousand. That's two thousand bushel. I think it's how they they go their numbers. Now I don't know what a bushel converts into because I'm not a farmer, so I don't know. Uh, this looks to be a smaller combine, probably. What are you gonna say seven and a half nine meter header? Looks very well made. Uh, we've got clamps on the air box there for the power pack. Um. Ooh, the texture coming down uh, looks very, very nice. T560i. And what is this? Okay, well, Wilson was already confirmed. Like, I called that and people owe me money. People owe me money from Discord, for sure. Because I called that, like, way time ago. Um, It looks like a... <laughs> it's probably going to be labeled Lizard. Uh, the way this is made. If it was Kenworth, it'd have two mirrors up or two windows up here. Um, 
a rounded glass, which is normal for a Kenworth, but the front end looks like a Western star. The steps are Kenworth, you know, like the lights and everything. Probably going to be Lizard. Um, if it's something, then I don't know what it is, but uh, it, it is a thing. It does exist. I'm not happy to see these, though. Um, I get a lot of talk about, you know, being able to take off the placards, uh, the little stripe things, and seeing those still around. I know it's a European-based company, and they can't make everything for us, but, you know, it's fine. And we got another car back there in the background. I hope that this is just like the camera effects for the uh, for the the trailer. I really don't like blurry backgrounds, so um, I want everything to be crisp and clear. I live in South Dakota; you can see for miles. Stuff doesn't get blurry unless it's overcast. Uh, so another look here at the Hallmaster again. The uh, placard thingy. Okay, yeah, definitely a Wilson. We don't see the airlines and everything hooked up, but it's got an APU unit on the back, but no APU. So we've got the the uh, cooling unit for where an APU would go. And if you don't know what an APU is, it's like a mini generator that uh, trucks and everything use to uh, cool down, um, keep the cabin cool so you don't run the main engine for your HVAC. I uh, got a standard tarping setup. This is a really short one. God, that's sub sub 42 foot. That's a little short trailer. I'm glad that they have done a little bit of work here because this is what your bulkheads and everything look like. So that's pretty good. Your your bars and everything do look like that. Everything seems to be on the correct side. And we can see the uh, landing gear here, that little triangle piece. Uh, is made correctly. They make those in Linux for the Wilson trailers, so that's pretty cool. But again, we don't see the uh, the hoses hooked up. I thought that was like a big thing. Hopefully, it's just an oversight. The trailer or the drive wheels look like gear tires. Honestly, um, what else can we see? Yeah, we're seeing no hoses hooked up. PTO standard PTO. Um, the fill level looks about the same as how it does it right now, so it's okay. You get a good particle effect there. Pretty good. Okay, this is what I was talking about, this kind of background. I hope it's not that hazy. Really, I, I honestly do. So here we can get a better look at the landing gear. All this is built correctly. I'm so happy to see, you know, we've got like the rod for the, uh, the opener here and all that fun stuff. And these are your hoppers and the slats for strength. I've built a few of these, so pretty cool to see. All the hucks are in the right place. Everything is pretty good, so it's a pace setter. A little, little short while, though. It's a baby. Probably, if I was going to be in-game, probably mm, 34,000, 35,000 liter. Okay, so what else do we see here? Just a basic town. That looks like one of the houses from before. I could be wrong. Uh, the road texture looks... Very glassy, very smooth. So that's pretty good over the, the old jankiness. The grass texture looks pretty good. Hopefully we can cut down weeds and bushes and everything like you can in the Platinum Edition. That would be awesome. Bednar, bird box on the back of the Fint. Yep, uh, we got green Fender there, so that's the uh, Fint. The same thing as like the Challenger. I don't know the model number, but this looks like the backside of a... Uh, factory thing and we've got the train tracks there. This looks really really good. Is that uh... Yeah, that's a uh... What do you call it there? You pull it back in. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't uh, I can't remember the name right now. It's crossing my mind. Uh, what else can we see from here? Uh, the hair looks a little low poly. I know it's just hair and you never see it. You know, unless you get an angle like this, but the lighting effects on the glass and everything are awesome. We've got some good Fresnel effect here. Um, if you don't know what Fresnel is, that is the uh, how light is reflected off of a surface. So different angles offer some more reflection, yada, yada, yada. So see how it's really bright over here. So that's maximum reflection on the edge. 
uh, individual LEDs. You can see that. That's pretty cool. There is a lot of detail in here. I mean, down to bolts. There is a lot of detail on that shot. Like, the more I look at it, the more I'm seeing. Hopefully we see some adjustment on the mirrors and everything as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 1149 MT Fent. Cool. So, looks pretty good. Hopefully they do something with the tracks. I hope they're more dynamic and have like a little bit of, a little bit of play, but we can see the uh, latch for the hood here. This looks really, really good. Like, really, really good. Oh yeah, that's that's got me written all over it. So electric train. So this is probably going to be the Germany map because that's not something I would see. We've got pine, long wet. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, okay. An American style train. Uh, where's the driver though? Can't see the driver. Um, and we can't see the back car, but we can see the same setup. It's the same exact setup as the other one. So I'm probably going to say that the, the ones are log. Um, more than likely. I don't know what crop this is. I really don't. God, this looks so good. And we've got crossing signals. And we're definitely seeing a lot of reflection here. The new lighting engine is amazing. Hopefully we don't get like this like too much. I, I don't like when glare is a major issue, so. Okay, we're back to riding horses. Horses you can train from what uh, Listeran said. Blizzardton. Yeah, this is definitely the Germany map. We got the castle up alone hill that they teased the last time. I don't see the the circle of death, which is nice. If you don't know what that is, if you watch like some YouTube videos, you'll notice as we zoom out, there's a uh, a render area for the ground. So hopefully it's been kind of adjusted. I mean, you can tell that these are LOD'd, and we've got a little bit of field uh, clipping right through here. It, well, it looks like it. I could be completely wrong, but it looks like it's overlaying this tree. Um, what else can we see here? Like storage area right down there. Oh, can we ride the horses fast? She looks very angry. I hope we can ride horses like really fast. That'd be cool. All right, so we're back in the American map. A very large barn set up. These are the case uh, cotton harvesters. I wonder why they skip a row every time. Every, I think every time we've seen them, they've skipped one row. Looks like a cell point right here. Um, that's probably the one that we're used to in Goldcrest, where you drive in and then you drop into the floor. Yeah, because that's a train uh, right there, too. Could be, uh, could be a cell point or a loading point there for the train, so that's pretty cool. We've got more. There's a church. Some houses in the background. It looks like they're trying to do what some of the modders are doing with the, the landscape extending out past. You know, it's not like a goable area, but, uh, you know, you can see it and it makes the map feel bigger than what it actually is. So that's pretty good. Models on this are very, very nice from what you can tell here. Um, I don't know much about these. I think they, they like suck the cotton off or something. So... That sounded odd, but <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Oh, that's a Vatastad. That's an air seeder. That's pretty. I like that. Oh, and it's big too. Uh, let's see here. That looks like the 8400R. If I was going to guess, so definitely the John Deere. Again, we're not seeing the cable soaked up. Why not? That was like a key point. That was that was a very very interesting keynote in the uh, in the farmcon thing was uh, bendable crops and then uh, the hoses and everything hooking up. So don't know what the deal is there. 
But this is a very nice looking cedar. I'll probably use this a lot. Hopefully the horsepower rating isn't huge. Tempo L. I, I'll have to look it up later and see. Because the 8400R is 400 horse. And that's a... Let's see here. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen row. I wouldn't say it's over three hundred horsepower, but I could be completely wrong. Hmm. Interesting. Oh wait, no. Go go back a frame here. Now they're hooked up. You see here, we've got the uh, hydraulics hooked in the uh, top block. But some other things look like they're hanging down. Well, at least they're hooked up now. Okay. Def goes in. Hmm. I'm, I'm surprised at the lack of uh, detail right here. Most of the mods really detail out the engine area. Now it could be a different type of hood for a different model year. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm confused, but we also have if you look here, his foot's off the brake, but that one's on the throttle. Now, oh wait, go back. Wish I could keyframe this. Can't do it, it won't let me do it for some reason. Um, looks like we got a water tower and something very off in the distance there. Tempo L. Look at this ground texture. That looks like it actually has depth to it now. I know it doesn't, but the uh, the track looks like, because of the lighting engine, the way it's going to work, um, basically that's like a normal map, and we're showing depth without there actually being depth. So that's pretty cool. You can see that uh, there. Uh, another American flag looks like it can go up over the hill here. Radio tower. Another probably wheat field right there. I'm really loving the grass. Hopefully the grass, whenever it's cut, looks looks very, very nice. Ooh, yeah, we've got the uh, the red and the white things again. Okay, it looks like a sprayer. I don't know much about them, so I'm not going to say much about them. Uh, Hardy, or whatever you want to call it there. Um, no idea who it is or what they make, but they, they got one. Okay, so the grilling and everything looks really, really good. You can almost, yeah, you can see through the slats in that too. So that's, that's pretty slick. We've got a cool spring there. Is this the, the new grass field? Huh. Some kind of tower over here. Some rock formations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. It's killing the weeds. Look here. There's not that up there, but then it's back here. That's right. You said they said they could take care of the weeds. That's awesome. That is so cool. Okay, I like that. Yeah, look at it go. Yeah, we're killing weeds. Sweet. So cool. Okay, the ideal. That's the T9, right? Is this the T9? 9T, 9T, I'm sorry. Oh, we can actually see like the individual links of the uh, the grab that pulls it in. Another Highline Tower. Can't really tell what map we're in. Okay, now this is what I was talking about on uh, on the Discord. Look at the light shadows here on each one of these little rows. Like, just the lighting effect. It gives it depth. Even though there's not really, like, actual depth to it, more than likely, it makes it, it gives it the effect. So that looks really, really cool. This looks a lot better. Um, you can see it through it a little bit better. It looks more natural. And that's a big combine. That's just a big old combine. Oh, let's go back. This texture looks a little bit different um, than what it normally does whenever it gets sucked in. Got a nice little thing there. Yeah, look at this detail on this. This looks really, really good.
Oh, look at the chaff coming out of the back. Okay, yeah, this looks really good. And this is the German map again. I like that. I don't like how it's sucking in this edge, though. Hmm. Nothing really there to talk about. We've seen this combine plenty. <sighs> the big M. We can finally have the big M as not a mod. Oh my god, yes. That's amazing. I see these everywhere. Okay, let's take a look here at the grass texture. Because I'm picky like that. I do like a lot of grass work. It looks clumpy. I mean, it's, it's going to look like that, but you can see the individual stalks there. Whenever you have like a contrast like that, look at that. That's almost a seed. That's like perfect grass. It's only the 450, though. I wonder if we can get that in the 500. Still very nice to have that as the base game. Okay, now this is the... Uh, the Komatsu that they were talking about earlier today. Uh, we all know I hate logging, so I'd never use it, but it is here. And it looks like the smaller one, so maybe that's going to replace the, the little guy that we got. And again, you can see each one of the LEDs and these lights. Uh, doesn't look like the tires are deforming, which is odd. Got a lot more detail here in the hoses. So we've got a, uh, a protective wrap, and then down here to the hydraulics, the claws and the jaws and everything are very, very detailed. It looks very, very nice. Oh, God. It's going so fast, they're, they're doing too much. That looks like a new texture for the, uh, for the sawdust. This is the same vehicle that we were looking at before. The trees are not perfectly straight. Look at this. Got a bow in it. I know we didn't have like perfectly, perfectly straight trees, but you know, like the ones that you normally cut are pretty straight. And these have all got variations in them. So that is pretty sweet. Is that a little Manitou? Looks like a little Manitou. Bells look about the same, a little bit more fuzzy. And a little bit more round. There's some... Deformity here. See that there? They're going up and over? That's pretty good. I like that. Now the field looks a little bit splotchy where it's cut, but... Uh, beggars can't be choosers, really. Ooh. Oh, this is a caged thing. Oh, I really like that. Like that, uh... That's pretty good. We all know I like stacking bells and stuff. So, yeah. that that The side here will come down and close that off. So that's pretty cool. It's a Fiegel, ain't it? Yeah, Fiegel. Fiegel. However we say it. And a Valtra. So first look at a Valtra. And again, we've got the, the foot on the throttle and the other one just kind of hanging out. Uh, now, a lot of people complain about this right here. It blocks their view. Um, that's for, like, your, uh, your little computers there. But we can see the HVAC slats. I wish they put their hand on the, uh, on the, uh, the joystick sometimes. Like, if you're actually using the joystick and the cruise control. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, they, they come down here. Onto the side. So, oh, there we've got tire deformation, deformation on the trailer, but not on the tractor. Look how, look how round that is. And we see some power lines here. Okay, this looks like one of the map edges, probably near that waterfall that we saw in the uh, German map uh, sneak peek. Oh, stop going so far. Ah, yeah, here again, no hoses. So it's kind of hit and miss on, on what's where. Oh wait, I lied, right, look right there. So the hand isn't on the steering wheel, it's on the joystick. Sweet. Got the cast off, and this, I like this makes this map look big. Okay, yeah, it looks like I was kind of right. There's the, uh, the fast moving water right there. So 
there's a bridge, a house, the back side of the fecal there, all the hydraulic hoses and everything. And look at that sunset. The trees look about the same. These do. The other ones look completely different. Unless I'm like overlooking it. But we've got uh, casting shadow and everything here. So that looks really, really good. There it is. Unless there's something at the end. Nope, that was it. All right. So, there's our first look. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you all enjoyed that. And, you know, if you got any feedback, give it to me there. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video.